my name is Virginia Lee, and I'm the director on, uh, at the Center for Neurodegenerative Disease Research. And um, what we do at the center is that we conduct research to try to understand the etiology, pathogenesis of a whole host of neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease. And so um, the study that we've just um, published recently is on Alzheimer's disease. So as you know, that there are really no animal models for Alzheimer's disease. And for us to be able to come up with therapies for Alzheimer's disease is, is essential for us to have animal models so that we can use them to test for the efficacy of any potential drugs before they can go into humans. And so, um, as you may or may not be aware, that, um, that we and many other laboratories have been developing animal models for Alzheimer's disease for the past 20, 30 years. And um, so, what we try to do is that we try to recapitulate the pathology in um, Alzheimer's disease brains. And so, in order for us to do it, and in the last 30 years, was most laboratories, including ourselves, and would engineer mice to overexpress the proteins that become misfolded in um, Alzheimer's disease so that they would form the pathology. And so that really, it's not um, very natural because, um, you know, Alzheimer's disease patients don't overexpress, for example, the tangle protein called tau, the neurofibular tangle protein called tau. Um, so, you know, so, but if you don't overexpress the tau protein, um, you can't get neurofibular tangles in mice. And so that was the feel for many years. And so until recently, what we recognize that um, the confirmation, in other words, that the structure of the tangles and in Alzheimer's disease are different from those that we used to use to um, induce mice to form tangles. So what we decided to do is to really uh, purify um, neurofibular tangle from Alzheimer patients because we think that they represent the authentic um, strain of neurofibular tangle in Alzheimer brain. So taking that material, then we inject them into normal mice, mice that do not overexpress tau. And what we found, which is really quite amazing, was that this Alzheimer neurofibrillary tangle was able to induce endogenous, in other words, the tau protein expressed in the mouse, to aggregate and form these tangle-like structure um, in brain of these mice. And so now we have a model of neurofibrillary tangle that is totally independent of having to overexpress and also the structure of these tangle, as far as we can tell, really do recapitulate those that you find in Alzheimer's brain. And on top of that, what we show was that these tangle actually over time spread from one brain region to another. So it, it's really quite remarkable that both in terms of the properties of the tangle in the mice are very similar to those in the Alzheimer's brain. And also the way they spread progressively is very similar to Alzheimer brain as well. So I think that these models now are, are, will be used and to test for potential therapies to treat Alzheimer patients.